Hi, welcome along to today's vlog. Today is the semi-finals of the mouthpiece shootout and I'm going to do them all in one go. So I'm going to do A versus B, C versus D. Now I've mixed the numbers up. The mouthpieces that got through were mouthpiece number one. <laughs> Mouthpiece number three. Mouthpiece number five, just. And mouthpiece number seven. Very just. In fact, it was your votes on YouTube that enabled it to go through because on Twitter, it was exactly split 50-50. So it would have been impossible uh, to have put one through against the other. I'll explain when we get to the final video why that happened. Uh, but I'm really, really pleased to be giving you a, a straight shootout today between A and B, C and D. I've mixed, I said, mixed them up from the numbers so you don't know. So judge them on what you hear today. I'm going to play new pieces for you. I'm going to try and play exactly the same thing on each mouthpiece. Remember though, it's a bit of fun. Whilst the title does say what it is, the best four mouthpieces in the world, well, they're the best four mouthpieces that I've got access to, and I have to say, of course, there will be other mouthpieces, and there'll be mouthpieces even coming out right now that I don't have access to. And please also remember that it's very much a personal thing. What you guys hear, what I play, kind of the mouthpieces I've chosen to put in this are still subjective. What works for me may not work for you. You might love the sound I get on a piece, but it might not work for you because of the way you're physically made up. I mean, I'm six foot two, okay? I'm a big guy. Uh, I've been playing the saxophone for 30 years now, so I'm gonna be able to get a different sound out of it than if you've been playing, if you're kind of five, six, um, 10 stone and you've been playing six months you know it's going to be a different thing but it's a bit of fun it's youtube so we don't want to take it too seriously uh, i just want to have a little bit of update on the vlog we're about to break 7,900 subscribers which is absolutely incredible if you don't already subscribe please do hit the subscribe button it means that you get notified of the videos as soon as they come out especially if you hit the bell button and i'm just so gobsmacked at how much this community has grown. I was going back through some of the old vlogs, as I said the other day, just trying to find some some old uh, drone footage. And, you know, I'm talking there about how amazing it is to get to 5,000, and that was less than a year ago. So it's pretty amazing to be nearly topping out 8,000 subscribers. That's amazing. Like I say, my goal is to get to 10 by this coming summer. So if you can help me get that, that would be really, really great. And I hope that you'll think that these videos are worth watching and worth subscribing for. But in that mind, let's get on to the mouthpiece test. So as to not spoil the fun, I need to bring the uh, sensor, the pixelator in now. Uh, so you won't be able to see me or the mouthpiece, but at least you'll be able to get to vote on it. I'll try and keep them all as brief and as quick as I can playing the same thing. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So now is the time to vote mouthpiece A or mouthpiece B. You need to vote now. It's up here on the top left hand corner. Uh, this is the only place I'm counting the votes now this time around. So mouthpiece A or mouthpiece B. Don't vote A, B, C, D. It's A versus B, C versus D. So vote now. I don't know what I'm going to say while you're voting. Hopefully you've voted already. Yep, yep, that's right. So here is mouthpiece C versus mouthpiece D. And now it's time to vote. Mouthpiece C or mouthpiece D? Nothing else. Mouthpiece C versus mouthpiece D. It's up here in the top left hand corner. Vote now! Now this is the 12th of March today. Obviously when you watch this you will know the result. I don't know the result of what happens tonight with this second meaningful vote on the EU's deal. Now I'm not going to talk politics uh, on the vlog anymore. I did made that mistake back in 2016. Good grief did that open a tin of worms. But what I will say from a from a musician's perspective this is causing real problems. This the indecision not knowing what what the situation is going to be. So in terms of gigs I had some gigs again lined up on in uh, Germany and France again. And this year coming we don't know what was going to happen they're on hold at the moment until we know what the visa conditions are going to be basically because their jazz gigs will want a classical gig there ain't the money on it to pay a work permit for me they do not make enough money to be able to pay for everybody's work permit when i went to berlin in this vlog i went over there and it was apart from getting paid in euro it was identical to going down to london to play a gig or going up to scotland to play a gig it was exactly the same kind of thing when I went over to Eep in September or back in a year ago, which I'll probably put at the end of the vlog, when I went over with Dan to, uh, to, to France to make those videos about the First World War, we just got on the Eurostar, we got off, we had to show our passports, but then, you know, kind of going, going from Folkestone, the French guy just kind of still on his mobile phone just waves you through. It's harder to get back into Britain than it was to get out of get out of Britain in the morning. But it is re causing real difficulty. I know it's causing real hardship and job losses for some people, and I mean, this is kind of minute for what it's causing me, but yeah, we'll see what happens. That's all I'm going to say on politics. But from a musician's perspective, it isn't very, very good at the moment at all. But I think the Musicians Union did a survey. I think 90% of musicians think they're going to be worse off after Brexit than they are at the moment. So as you saw in the previous vlog, I got a new SSD to edit the vlog on. Am I going to have focus here? And now I cannot... All the files have disappeared. I can't... <clears throat> like... I'm a big Apple evangelist, but Final Cut Pro is the worst piece of software in the Apple thing. The problem is I'm so far down the road now that I don't go and move over to something like Adobe Premiere Pro because I'm so used to FCP. Damn it, Apple, make it work. Mm. 
miserable day for the weather today. Storm Gareth is causing the problem. Anyway, it's Tuesday and we normally get in touch with the grandparents. It's the hardest thing of living so far away from family is that you know you can't just knit round and see the grandparents with the kids, let them see the cousins. So the next best thing is FaceTime. See the camera with Charlie up there. <laughs> oh dear. There you go. Yeah. Hello, Charlie Bay. And here we are, an hour later, really. Or maybe an hour and a half later. Look at the weather. Anyway, thank you very much for watching today. Make sure you voted on those mouthpieces. The final will come up later this week. And make sure you are subscribed for that. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you really soon.